Hey, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about this four and a half by six inch metal bandsaw that I got from Princess Auto. It's the same at Harbor Freight. I've seen many a YouTube video on it. The comments all seem to be that it's a little bit out. It, the cut, when it comes down, it kind of comes across by uh, about an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna see if that's true. The reason why I got this saw though is because I need to cut some stainless steel because I'm going to be making my own manifold because I keep cracking them right here. Wait, yeah, right there. I keep cracking them right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see that. Oh, it's pretty dark. Okay, so I keep cracking them right there and that's just due to the monstrous weight of my monster turbo that's in the car right now. So I have two of these. It's running right now. Um, I've just rebuilt this one and I need to do a different exhaust manifold. So that's why we're gonna be building this saw today, checking it out and then probably doing a little bit of fly cutting to bring down the table so that it cuts perfectly straight. But we'll get to that. Just for reference before we get into it. So this is the, oh. <clears throat> so just for reference before we get into it, this is the compressor that's in that car was in that car and this is the compressor that's in that giant turbo i just showed you look at the difference in the size of these two guys okay so uh, a lot more air but first i need an exhaust manifold so let's get into this saw i'm pretty excited i've never had a band saw before New saw smell. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful finish. Look at the way this cardboard's really put a nice patina in it. Hey, they were right. They do actually have little needle bearings inside the wheel. That was a nice little bonus. So this one's gonna need a little modification. The one in the store, this was rubbing on the on the edge of the, the pulley. So it's probably gonna have to push it down a little bit more. And then this hole right here, uh, it needs to be opened up a little bit more because it was, did not allow the belt to be tensioned. But again, those are, I feel kind of minor things. Bad.
I think I gotta speed it up a little bit. So now, oh yeah, she's not straight. She's pretty damn close though. Oh man, it is straight. Hey, I got a good saw. I don't know what those other guys are bitching out. Like, can you see? Okay, if I hold the square right up, it's dead knots on for a bound saw. Look at that. I don't know, I'm happy with that. I'm not even gonna have to modify it. Like, I'm really happy. Super happy! My final conclusion on this is it is a great buy. Great value for your dollar. I love it. I can't, it was on sale too, so you can't really beat that. Like this switch broke. The main thing is the blade cuts so, 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 so straight. The blade that came with it's crap. I've heard it's crap. You can see like there's a big weld in the middle of it and some of the teeth are all weird. So I'm gonna swap blades and that's gonna make it better and then I'll probably get, and then I'll probably get a damper. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Great buy, buy this puppy. She's so good, so good. I don't know if they saw the complaints about online about how it was like an eighth out. And the one I measured in the store was an eighth out, but the grind on the table looks a lot different than the one in the store. Like this, this is actually really decent looking. It doesn't have um, a scrape mark. So yeah, like I said, great buy, high, high. I recommend like comment subscribe because uh, that turbo I showed you earlier we're gonna be getting into that very very soon I needed this to build the exhaust manifold for that turbo and that thing's like I don't know six seven hundred horse probably right out of the box can't wait 30 pounds of boost Woo! subscribe subscribe <laughs>